Walker enjoying the unseasonably warm weather. The Sierra, meanwhile, is experiencing a record-setting dry spell. Quite a turnaround. Now a team of Berkeley scientists saying that it's seeing new signs of trouble. KPI X5's Max Darrow with that story. On a sunny day in the Sierra, Andrew Schwartz and the team of scientists at UC Berkeley's Central Sierra Snow Lab spent the day working to get a better idea of how the snowpack is holding up. We are starting to see those classic signs of melt, and those are things that we're hoping we wouldn't see uh, until April or, or May. Right now, the Sierra is in the midst of a record-setting dry spell. We are now at 33 days. Uh, without any type of precipitation. And that's the longest in a winter period uh, that we've ever gone here, uh, going all the way back to 1970. And so that is very concerning. It's a stark contrast to December, where the lab measured 214 inches of snow, the snowiest December on record. But we are seeing drier than, than average periods and then wetter than average periods than we've seen in the past. It totally fits the pattern. Alvar Escriva Bo is a senior fellow with the Water Policy Center. We are being less and less surprised for, from these climatic extremes, and, and this is really uh, kind of sad, and, and it puts a lot of stress and challenges in, in the way that we manage our system. Despite the great December, which helped replenish depleted reservoirs and build up the snowpack, the Sierra is still about 80 inches away from getting to an average snowpack for the season. So at this point in time, we've received about 73% of what we would expect for an entire winter's worth of snow. Schwartz says there really isn't an end in sight right now. He's hopeful long-range models that suggest a change could come in March prove to be true. We're crossing our fingers as best we can, but uh, nothing's guaranteed at this point. You know, in terms of precipitation, what we are seeing is that we have the same amount on average, but the variability both uh, within a year, but also uh, across years, is changing a lot. With variability, the constant. These experts say conservation remains key. These types of long dry periods are why we have to be conserving our water. Max Darrow, KPIX 5.